Welcome back. So I've got another 2025 Asus Chromebook CX14 to show you. It's got a fairly unique processor that we'll take a look at and benchmark in this video, as well as trying to make sense of whether it was really needed in a 2025 entry-level Chromebook lineup. So this is a 14-inch entry-level clamshell Chromebook. This one caught my attention as it's got 2023's Intel N50 processor. I'd never heard of that processor before, let alone seen one in a Chromebook. It really was wasn't on my radar. But in this one, alongside it, I've got 8 gig of RAM and 128 gig of eMMC storage. I'll tell you how much I paid a bit later on in the video as we look at pricing. A lot of what I cover in this video will also apply to the slightly larger CX15 range. That's the 15.6 inch version, including the Chromebook Plus CX15 that you may have seen on the channel previously. Just last week at UK retailers, we had six new Chromebook listings show up of the Asus CX14 and the CX15, which with this Intel N50 processor. I've already shown you these two other 2025 Asus CX14 on the channel this year. I'll link to their videos at the end of this one so you can check them out in more detail. Over on the left here, we've got the lowest spec option in the range in white. Uh, it's available in other colors, but the white's gonna help you pick it out in this video. So this one comes with the 2021 Celeron N4500 processor, four gig of RAM and 64 gig of storage. And on the right here in grey, we've got the highest spec option in the range. So we've got the Chromebook Plus CX14 coming with the 2025 Core 3 N355 processor, 8 gig of RAM, and in this one I've got the 128 gig of eMMC storage. The colors are pretty handy as they're gonna help you distinguish between them in the video as I show you some comparisons. So by the way, this latest one, Asus called the color Quiet Blue, in most lights to me, it looks like it should be called Quiet Black, to be honest, but it is a very dark blue. The texture is also pretty satisfying though with this kind of uh, scratchy uh, sort of textured top to it in this full plastic build. So that Quiet Blue color and the texture do continue through into the keyboard deck. I'm just not sure it's a great idea having this dark blue with these black keys. I guess the white on them does help them stand out, but there's no backlit keyboard on this one. It might be an option in some of the range, but I haven't noticed it in any of the UK models with this N50 processor. For the overall feel of the keyboard deck and also the touchpad and the key travel in particular, I'd say it's most similar to the Celeron N4500 model compared to that of the Chromebook Plus that feels like the keys are just that bit softer. I've got the CX14 with the N50 on top here just to look at ports. And you can see that one does get the two USB-C ports just like the Chromebook Plus immediately below it in gray. But on the bottom there, I've got the white CX14 that comes with the Intel Celeron N4500 processor in this case. And you can see that that one doesn't have the second USB-C port. As far as the weights go of the different versions of this Chromebook with the different processors, so I weighed this one in with the N50 at 1.33 kg, that's about 2.94 pounds, and that's very similar to the Celeron based version that I've got. Um, both of those are just a little bit lighter than the Chromebook Plus version. Definitely check the spec of the displays of any CX14 or 15 you're looking at too, so it may show up not too well on camera, you have to see, but the one on the left here that I have with the Intel N50, this one in the spec has an IPS display, whereas the screen on the right-hand side in this Celeron-based version is a TN display. So the IPS is definitely the one to go for. Asus don't actually call it IPS though, they refer to it as WV, I think that's for wide viewing angle. Uh, it's definitely gonna look crisper and have better viewing angles, hence that name, compared to the TN version. It's definitely another area for confusion, and it's worth checking in your region, as in the US, for example, many of the Celeron N4500 models do have IPS displays, and it looks like even the touch display option is more popular there as well. So much like with the Intel Celeron N4500 and the Intel M100, there's no need to have a fan in a Chromebook like this when you've got the Intel N50 processor in it. Although when I've been using it on my lap, I have noticed the heat from the ventilation grills on the bottom a little bit more than I'd like to. The speakers are also on the bottom here, so they're on either front corner. So much like we've seen the design in the rest of the range, it's just staying consistent to that, as you'd expect. 
So I've been using this Asus CX14 with the Intel N50 for a few days now for light Android gaming and basic browsing. And for those use cases, it seems absolutely fine. I may even say pretty good. The eight gig of RAM will certainly be helping. I've had multiple users logged in with over 50 tabs open and not felt that the processor was particularly holding me back. To try and quantify that performance of the Intel N50, I've run Geekbench 6 on this Chromebook, as well as the Chromebooks with the Celeron N4500 and the Core 3 N355. I've also benchmarked some Chromebooks with processors closest to those, including the Intel M100 and the Core i3 N305. It does show us that the N50 keeps up with the N100 for single core performance as expected, but it falls back against it when it comes to the multi-core score. At the bottom of the table, the scores for the Celeron on N4500 show why you have to think hard before buying a Chromebook with one of these, especially compared to what else is available. Naturally, Chromebooks with the Core i3 and the Core 3 show a vast improvement in their multi-core and GPU scores. As we move on to talk about performance, you'll see some visuals on your screen just showing you some real-life use cases, how fast certain apps and things open. So on the left of your screen, I'll have the CX14 with the Intel N50 processor, and on the right of your screen pitted against it, I'll either have the Celeron N4500 based CX14, that's the one in white, just as a reminder, or if it's in gray, that'll be the Chromebook Plus CX14 with the Intel Core 3 N355 processor. And just as a reminder, the Celeron based Chromebook in white does only have four gig of RAM, whereas the other two have got eight gig. The Intel N50 processor itself is essentially a more stripped back version of the very popular Intel N100 processor. It's also part of that same Intel Older Lake N family launched back in 2023, so it means Chromebooks with it will see Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. We've seen that Intel N100 processor in a lot of Chromebooks over the past couple of years, and spoiler alert, it remains my minimum recommendation in 2025 for buying a Chromebook, just for light, everyday use. It's been succeeded by the Intel N150 and Intel N250, and those were meant to feature in this new Asus CX14 range, as I showed you in my video earlier in the year, but we certainly haven't seen any with those processors in the UK just yet. Do drop a comment and let me know if they're available in your region. So instead at the moment, perhaps we're getting this Intel N50, so whether it's been a supply chain issue, a change of decision or direction, or just a delay, I've got no idea. Having never seen this Intel N50 in a Chromebook or really having been aware of it before, it disappoints me a bit to see it introduced in 2025. The Intel N100 could have been an ideal baseline processor for entry-level Chromebooks like these, or just stick to the 2025 Intel N150. Again, I just haven't seen that processor, certainly in any of these in the UK just yet. So what about price? As ultimately, if they were giving away Chromebooks with the Intel Celeron N4500 or even the N50, they'd be a little bit easier to accept and in some cases even recommend. For this particular config of the CX14 with the Intel N50 and eight gig of RAM along with the IPS non-touch display, I paid £224, that's about 300 US dollars. Even at that time, for just £25 more, you could buy the Chromebook Plus version with the newer and more powerful Intel Core 3 N355 processor, and it also gets two extra years of Chrome OS updates. Let me know in the comments if that would seem like a no-brainer to you too. You can see more on that Chromebook Plus CX14 in the video on the left of your screen to watch next. Otherwise, check out the lower spec Celeron N4500 option in the video on the right hand side of your screen. Cheers.